YouTube's most um, unnerving videos too. Let's go see what type of time it is on. Um, let me see. Shout out to Morbid. Shout out to Morbid, by the way. Uh, let me see. Viewer count went down. Why the nigga? Why y'all? Hold on, wait. Why do y'all niggas always, always, always say that, nigga? It's twelve ten, nigga. This, there's seven hundred people or six hundred eighty people here, and it's twelve ten, nigga. That's amazing, nigga. I used to, I used to pray for time like this. I like this, nigga. I used to pray for that, nigga. That's, that's amazing, nigga. What the fuck, nigga. That's oh six hundred twenty-seven. That's amazing, nigga. Six hundred twenty-seven people at the at at in three hours into the stream, nigga. That's amazing, nigga. What the hell? Um, it ain't even go down. Uh, it is it, less than eight hundred though. What does that mean? What does that mean? What is what is angry angry? What does that mean? It's less than eight hundred. What is that? What is that? What does that mean now? Six twenty seven is not as good as six twenty eight. What is what is what is that? What does that mean now? What's that mean now, nigga? Cause a couple months ago, nigga, fucking seven months ago, nigga, we had like twenty people in here, nigga. Fucking, we had like twenty people in here, nigga, at the end of the stream, nigga. Like y'all, y'all niggas forget, nigga. We used to have fucking like. Five people at the end of the stream, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm so happy that that 627. That's that's good, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, you changed. I missed 11, 12, 20 viewer to a terrible cut. We came out. That's amazing, nigga. I would I would I used to pray for times like this to run like that. But okay, let's get into it. Um, YouTube's most unnerving videos. Let's go ahead and uh get into this. Are at least 800 million videos posted to the platform known as YouTube with around you know, 7 million videos what the hell? every single day. It's no surprise that there's many videos on YouTube. I don't care. Play the video. Yo, cancel peanut butter. Such a lame ass, wombat, built ass nigga, big toe, Goliath body built. Such a fucking lame ass up, nigga. Don't ever tell me to start a fucking video in your fucking life, nigga. Tell him that, nigga. Shut the fuck up, nigga. I hate when niggas rush me, nigga. Start the video already. I don't care. Bitch, then I don't care about you, nigga. Fuck out the community. Fuck. What's wrong with you, nigga? Yo, Rod, if I can get anything for my birthday, what would it be additionally when it's your what? I could, if you could, oh, if you could get something for your birthday, if you could get something, anything for your birthday, what would it be? My birthday is next year. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't want nothing for my birthday. I don't get nothing. I don't be getting nothing for my birthday, so I couldn't tell you, but y'all being here is enough. All right. In that every video is normal. Some videos can be a bit strange and be considered to be a part of the weird side of YouTube. Is that a fucking Some tickle? Of the videos that we will be talking about are cryptic channels, possible snuff, and even the origins to this video. So in today's video, I'll be covering YouTube's most unnerving videos part two. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for all the support recently because my shout out to Morbid. We're gonna get straight into the joint. The clip. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yeah, I see this on Instagram. Tub came to my I see I see this on Insta I see this on Instagram uh, a couple days ago. A boy's leg, da. A boy's leg, da. Okay, I was okay. With the crew, where I gave him a cool custom. Which was that? Roll the clip. Dude, that's so fucking fire. Oh, that's hard. It's a full ass rug Yo. for you. Also, the guy made it. Double A rugs. He made stuff for like Phase rug, a hundred thieves, some like. NBA. I need a, a BBG rug. When I get when I get my new crypto, when I get my new crypto, I need BBG rug. Nah, this is like the type of shit I don't want to get dirty. Like yeah. I might just hang this one. I think that'll be fire. Nah, that's hard. That's actually so hard. I got scammed on a rug. I want. We gonna get into it though. Shout out to no no. The peanut vendor. Nineteen ninety three. What the fuck? Hold on. No, y'all can't. Hold on. I need to move my camera. Y'all can't see the shit that I just seen, my like with my own eyes. The peanut vendor. I mean peanut. The peanut vendor. Nineteen ninety. What the hell? This motherfucker look like this is definitely a, a, a flapjack originated character. This nigga look like a fucking skinwalker. This nigga look like Slender Man, older cousin, uh, Tender Man, my nigga. Ninety three. Why is this on YouTube? I can't play the real audio from this video because the song is copyrighted. This YouTube video is titled Yo, The Peanut Vendor. What the fuck? This is when you get to the weird side of YouTube. This is when you're super bored and you get to the very, very strange side of YouTube, bro. Like the 
the very odds out of YouTube. And was posted to YouTube on December 7th, 2006. But this is just a re-upload since this short film was made in 1933. This short was made by Lin Lai, who is a filmmaker and sculptor, and in 1933, he did this stop motion where a monkey sings about how he is selling peanuts and how he's only there for a limited time, so he tells everyone to buy them before he goes to sleep. I don't even the know either, man. The stop motion is very creepy looking because this is an old piece of media, and looking back at older stop motion animations today, they just don't hold up well since after all, stop motion has evolved so much much that it makes older stop motion look terrifying i can't that what the all right bro it's getting to the point where i'm really like who found this on youtube well first of all who posted this to youtube who found this on youtube and uh have these channels been banned bro let's 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 start there bro let's let's start there wait to put it in my mouth pressures okay <laughs> go back emotion looked terrifying I can't wait to put it in my mouth, pressure zone. Nothing good can come from a title such as that. Pause, by the way. What the fuck am I looking at? Once again, I can't use this song due to copyright, but this video is called, I can't wait to put it in my mouth, which is a music video by Tonetta. To nah. Nah. Nah, TOS. Oh yeah, this his face is definitely TOS. That is censored, so we're good. Nah, yeah. <laughs> Dog, the nigga looks like he fucking serves toenails, nigga, out of his fucking uh cottage. Ew, bro, my apology. That's disgusting, bro. That's disgusting. Hold on, let me play this off screen. This man wearing a mask that resembles Tara the Android. But instead of singing I Feel Fantastic, Tonetta is singing a very sus song, saying- I'ma not show this in just in case. Put it up my, yeah, Even though it's, it's censored. It's a very sus song. This video was posted on April 24th, 2011 by the channel called The Awkward Report. The channel only has five uploads of the same man singing to the same song. Oh, this is a nigga. Oh, this is a nigga. It doesn't matter, it's a nigga. All five videos are exactly the same, but they are different versions of each other. One of those versions is a music lyric video, the other is an uncensored version showing the large pepperoni pizza, another version of the video has a Justin Bieber PNG over the face, there's an already censored version, and finally a fast forward version. A little fun fact that I discovered is that if you click on the censored version and go to the comments- Twitch, by the way, this is a man, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't show any nudity. He's just censoring it just to be be safe on their YouTube TOS. But it's it's a dude. So even if it did have anything, it's a it's a whole man. You can actually Johnny see Dean another light time. Anthony Fenteno commented on this eleven years ago. Damn boy, he thick. Before I answer who the person is behind the mask, I do want to talk about this channel that the video. Oh, you know how? Do you understand how sick you have to be as an individual to really just like make these type of videos, bro? You gotta be a sick ass nigga, bro. Like sick. Videos are posted on. The huh. channel I'm gonna let is it play out, the huh? awkward report, and the person singing is Tonetta. I don't know if this is the official Tonetta account because there's multiple channels with a few thousand subscribers. We can show it's fine. Content. It's a dude. So I don't it's know okay. if the awkward report is a real channel or if it's somebody else reposting Tonetta. Now that I got all of that out of the way, who is Tonetta? Anthony Jeffrey, born February 17th. Grown ass man too, bro. Bored as fuck, I know that. He's like literally, this is literally a 57 year old man, bro. He's grown. He's like an adult. He's an, he's an adult male, bro, doing stuff like this. 1949, also known as Tonetta, is a Canadian singer, songwriter, and visual artist who in the early 1980s began living as a recluse and recording original music on cassettes after separating from his wife. In 2008, he made his first YouTube channel, which led to a record label debut. That's why I can't play his songs because he is in a record label, believe it or not. He also made many more subsequent YouTube accounts established- But my thing is, how do your life go, like, spiral down that badly to where you're doing stuff like that now? ...under other usernames, since a lot of his other YouTube accounts have been banned repeatedly for I wonder why. Besides TOS. I mean, he was showing his pepperonis, and the video itself is age-restricted. So if I do have to censor the video even more, I'm sorry.
Actually, you should be thanking me that I'm censoring these clips. I think, hey, Morbid, thank you that you censored it, bro, because I'm not going to lose you. Clips even more. Anthony said that he took inspiration from John Lennon when it came to making his songs, and he even looked up to the Beatles, Elvis, and Michael Jackson. As of 2011, Jeffrey lived in Toronto, Ontario, doing part-time upholstery. He was previously married to a woman until 1983 and has two sons. He has not talked to his wife or seen his children since 1983. When his sons were 8 and 10 years old, one of the sons reconnected with him by email shortly after Jeffrey began posting music to YouTube in 2008, Jesus Christ. but then stopped writing to him once Tonetta began putting on the dresses and stuff. I couldn't find much Ew, information bro. on this, but I'm pretty sure Anthony does identify as a male since he does use he, him pronouns, but- It's a, it's a wife and kids. That's that's a sad that's a sad case, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Y'all really gotta understand, this is a, a father, bro. This is my son, bro, like just doing stuff like this and making YouTube videos for, the, for somebody, bro. Like, and the nigga keeps getting banned, he keeps coming back, bro. It's just disturbing to watch, bro. Again, Twitch doesn't go against TOS, I just have to- to emphasize that but like his alter ego tonetta is female tonetta has a bunch of music videos all over youtube posted by many different accounts honestly i am not a fan of tonetta's music but i am a fan of the creepy unnerving videos that tonetta makes after all we are talking about the weird side of youtube and a lot of tonetta's content is weird and unnerving to some people zero one eight five one okay see nothing good can come all right bro <laughs> dog when it just has a combination of different letters and numbers you know nothing can go well from this one cd zero yeah okay all right bro uh headphone warning let me just load out my headphone bro that joint sounded like fucking uh Ooh, I almost said something crazy i'm not gonna hold you that shit sound like fucking uh nuke uh audio i'm not gonna hold you Zero one eight five one C D zero. What the hell? Yo, to whoever made this nigga, why don't you just go get a job, bro? Like some some form of income, something that's gonna bring bread in, bro. Cause I don't think this is. I know this joint got age restricted, bro. This joint is. Yeah, I'm gonna need my Bible, bro. Like, this joint make me feel weird. Crosses in the chat. Find out that Freddy's ass audio. This is a creepy YouTube channel that posts a lot of unnerving, creepy videos. And their last upload was last year. They've been making videos for over 10 years. And if it wasn't obvious enough, this is clearly an ARG, which is basically a real life game. By watching these videos to solve a mystery, basically a wild goose chase. This ARG was created by Blame Truth. Also, this ARG is pretty big. So you made no bread off this. All the creepy videos to <laughs> Why is he doing this? There's multiple channels connected to the main ARG channel. I'm not gonna bother to solve the ARG for this video because I'm pretty sure the ARG has not even been solved yet. After all, there's 10 years worth of content to go over through. ARGs are just long games, and when you solve it, you don't get anything in return. Hey. Y'all got it, man. I'm cool. I don't, I don't want no smoke with the game. You know what I'm saying? Usually I'm down to play a lot of games, but y'all got it, bro. I wouldn't even recommend any of y'all to, to even be doing stuff like that. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I would stay far away from that. I want to get my Bible immediately. Hang on. So it is a big waste of time, but it is fun looking through the creepy videos from the ARGs. On the channel, all oh, of the, God, what is that? the videos are titled Upside Down. But I mainly want to cover their third most popular creepy video, which is titled, The Wait Is Over. This was posted on December 9th of 2011. The video starts off with static, and then words pop up upside down saying, Thanks for playing. That wasn't so hard, was it? You know why we are doing this. No. You will remember eventually. A clue will find- Nigga, a clue, a fucking, uh, indeed.com, uh, link will be in your future, man. Nigga, that's, that's the clue. I N D E E D dot com, nigga. That's the clue. Jesus Christ. Yo, see, the thing about Morbin and Tub, they're able to go look up all this creepy stuff and make a video. I'll be reacting to the creepy stuff, but I can't go look at it. I don't even want that joint on my computer. I'm not going with you, so shout out to them. And it's way too soon. Until then, enjoy a monologue from my favorite book.
The narrator reading the monologue has a very distorted voice, and while reading it, a video plays of monkeys riding bikes while cars hit them one by one. Physicists must from now on when pondering the secrets of the cosmos, back to not only And somebody got that 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 1965 Turtle Beach mic, that joint sound like, you know what I'm saying, a a a, a war took place in the mic. In a matter of time, there's something very new and beautiful, which is human awareness. Trout paused. Bro said, bro said, nigga, like. The most disturbing part about this video Mac, is the know. last half a second because on the last half a second of the video, a clip of Bud Dwyer plays after. Ooh, toss, 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 toss. I can't even, can't even, can't even talk about this one. Can't even talk about, can't even talk about that last part. I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, can't even talk about that last part. Can't even talk about that last part. Uh, wait, who? Don't worry about it. I'm not going to lose. You can't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. <sighs> oh, shit. Okay, okay. Next part, next part, next part. Just in case, I always have to be saying, who the hell is that? That's a, uh, it's a dude who, he was on live TV, and then, like, in GTA, he, he packed himself up in GTA. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and the clip was live on TV. Uh, yeah, it's a crazy video. I'm not going to lie. This creepy video. What the hell? I can't even read the title to this video, and plus, Google Translate can't do its justice for this one. This is a Slovak video that shows this creature blanket person dancing to a song, which I'm pretty sure is some type of music video. The creature's name is Ratafak. I most likely- Ratafak. Nigga, that sounds like a, a level 7 sex move. I ain't gonna cap to you. Um, who's making this, bro? Mispronounced it, but I don't care because Ratafak is a funnier name to call it. I remember the first time watching this video and I was pretty scared. Well, that's because I saw the cursed version first that is titled Angel, which that video is distorted with creepy music. You don't gotta show it to me, bro. You don't gotta show it to us, bro. I ain't gonna cap. And by the way, if y'all are scared of the stuff like this, I don't know why you're watching this with us about going cap. What the fuck, bro? And by the way, the video is not really cursed. They just call it cursed. The original upload of Ratafuck was posted to YouTube on February 23rd, 2008. Not much information can be found on this, but by reading a YouTube comment, this user says that this puppet was from an old kids TV show from the 80s. If I seen this as a kid, I go into nothing but shock, bro. I go into immediate shock by seeing this as a kid, bro. And was thrown out after the show ended and somebody just found it and decided to make a music video with it. Take that with a grain of salt though because YouTube comments are not Average, that middle aged British man. And plus, a comment underneath it says that it's actually a custom costume and that it's not the real one from the show. Either way, the video is pretty unnerving and when I first saw it when I was like younger, this did creep me out. But it's just a dude in a costume. Still pretty unnerving. One potato, two potato, great lost Austrian punk video. What Snuff. the fuck? Bro, was that uh motherfucker uh Chuck E. Cheese? God damn, bro. I knew I was cr I knew I was uh creeped out by that nigga for some reason, bro. I knew I ain't never fuck with Chuck E. Cheese. This is exactly why. What the hell? This video was posted to YouTube on April 10th, 2009. The video shows two people with animal masks, which they sing about potatoes. At the end of the video, it shows this man dressed up as hey, a- Hey, hold on real quick, chat. Hold on, can I get, um, hold on, just real quick. I need, I need, just, hold on. We're gonna give us a little, yeah, I got y'all, bro. I got y'all. 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 Trust, 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 trust. Oh, got y'all. Trust. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Yes, Pastor. 
Yes, passive. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. <sighs> okay, let's get back to the video, man. A mummy kidnapping the woman on screen, and after that, the mummy person puts a mask over the girl's face, which finally leads the girl to be hanged. My first oh my thought watching this video was that this w blur video morbid. was likely a short film, and I still. My thing is, how is stuff like this even allowed on YouTube? Because morbid censored it, but on the video, on a YouTube video, I'm assuming it's not censored, like on the YouTube video. So how is that allowed on like YouTube at all? I believe that, but reading the description, we get more details about this video. The description says, This Buddy be demonetizing me for cursing. Is the legendary Lost Punk video, One Potato, Two Potato, from 1980 or 1981. The original video. YouTube wasn't solved back then? I mean, nigga, I'm not gonna hold you. I wish YouTube would have been solved back then. If this is the type of videos we were seeing, now I know Filthy Frank on them, you know what I'm saying? It was cool and stuff like that, but shit like this, nigga, this shit should be banned. This shit got, it look like some dark web type shit. Tape sold on eBay for 899 USD recently, so you better enjoy this. Some people told us that all the actors really died during the shooting of this video. I doubt it. Could it be? Dunno. But this is the first time it's available anywhere. So have a look for yourself. And who is slash was the masked stranger? Me yeah, when I lie. Allegedly, this is a snuff film. Which I don't think the story to be true. Because it's been on YouTube since 2009. And it hasn't gotten deleted? It wouldn't have this type of content up on its platform. So it's most likely a short horror film or a school project. Either way, this video is mysterious because the YouTube channel that the video was Yo, posted on. If this is a school project, I'm going to, I personally. Potato 2 Potato 666 only made the. Nigga has 666 in his name. I'm not gonna lie, if I'm the teacher, I'm gonna go give them an F. I'm, I'm, it's still there. I'm not still not watching. If I'm the teacher, bro, I'm not gonna lose you. I'm giving them an F immediately. YouTube channel just to share the video because they created the channel the same day they released the video, and there hasn't been an upload since. It kind of just came and went. Full stop punctuation goat. The YouTube search and Yo, whoever was producing in the studio was not cooking, nigga engine is super weird you could type whatever you want and whatever you search up will pop up but what if you only search up a period which is also known as a full stop punctuation well when you search up a period Ooh, let me you just get really get, i know it's blurred but i still want to a lot of these thumbnails are straight up taken from gore videos and there's even a thumbnail that's nothing but blood spilled on the bathroom floor on youtube by the you way find that it's mostly the thumbnails with very disturbing imagery because when you actually click on these videos it's just a random shit post meme. But I am warning you, if you keep on scrolling down, you will find actual gore videos. To find these videos, you on YouTube, by the way. You need to use a period because you can also search up the phrase full stop punctuation or even use this character, which is called an uh. Muda from Some Ordinary Gamers made an amazing video talking about this rabbit hole, so check out his video after this one. But I do want to cover a specific video from this rabbit hole which is the GOAT video. This video is entitled- Damn, he, he, he really just got fucking LeBron James just standing right here in the video just casually like that, that's crazy. GOAT is instead titled with weird strands of characters that use periods and the a uh symbol. Ain't that a meme? I swear I got seen this before. He chilling for real? Nigga, this, okay, see this not even scary. We just need the right fucking music in here, nigga. Hold on, hold on, I got y'all. I got y'all. Yeah, mute that. Got that. There we go. Yeah, that's better. I ain't gonna get. Yeah, I don't know what he's saying. I think I think that's better though. That nigga trip. I think I think that's better, nigga. Hold on, let him jump one more time, yeah. He's so opium. It's just, the, the shit that's throwing it off is the music, bro. The nigga low-key dripping. I, I fought with him now. He low-key dripping. He got that shit on now. 
what did we just watch? Right. This is a video that was uploaded by Charlie W and was posted on June 7th, 2019. This video went viral since it gained over 1 million views, but this is just a re-upload. And plus, this channel isn't even a cryptid creepy channel. He's just chilling. The next video was literally a meme. So if that video was a re-upload, where did this video come from? Well, this video was made by Adele Morris, who's an artist in the UK and taxidermist posing dead animals in funny poses. Ooh, I don't even want to show that. Ooh. Made. This video is HD compared to the creepy video on YouTube. I mean, either way, both of the videos are- I know taxidermy is legal and shit, but that shit is so weird to me. I'm not going to cap to you. Like, do y'all know the motherfuckers who got like real like bear heads on this shit and everything like that? Like, that still, shit still creeps me out. I'm not going to lie creepy because Adele did record no not my dog in a weird dark room Adele has posted more photos of the same Ew, ghost bro. in different settings now I don't even want to look at this nigga no more bro because he gonna tax nerd me shit or I don't about Adele is that she's also responsible for making this fox sculpture that was turned into a meme the sonic 2 fox Ew, bro. See now that just now that just that just disgusted me like highly now that I don't even like Ah oh, damn, that just that just bothered me. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. That just bothered me. Better known as Tails from the Sonic movie. I don't know about you guys, but the whole taxidermy thing does give me the creeps, but at least we know the origin of the full stop punctuation goat video. I mean, we did get some good memes out of Adele's work, but either way, taxidermy thing just creeps me yeah, out. Yeah, that shit is creepy though. Gumby.wmv. What the hell? Gumby's an American clay animation fan. I feel like I, like, I don't know why. I feel like I, I, I recognize this. Gumby? I feel like I recognize this for some reason. I don't know why. Chise. Centered on the green clay human. I feel like I've seen this before. Gumby stars in two television series, the feature length Gumby the movie, and other media. Gumby.wmv is a video posted on October 9th, 2013 to the Maintenance Tunnels channel. This video starts off in some type of room or basement showing off a Tom's the Tank Engine toy set. Then the camera cuts to Gumby on the train playset. After that, we see Gumby in different parts of the house, and later we see him in a dark room with this other man toy thing. This whole video has Gumby talking, but his voice is very distorted. It seems that this whole video is an older- You got that shit on too, though. I'm, I'm fucking with the fit. I mean, the actual show. I, I feel like I've heard of this show or I've seen this character before, bro. He got that shit on, though. Dude playing with his toys since it cuts to an adult dressed up as Gumby reading a book. I don't know what book he's reading since it doesn't show, and plus, I don't really understand what he's saying. Yeah, you really gotta understand like i know i said it like 10 times in the video but these are grown ass men bro like i you really gotta think nigga if you had this time to just be making these fucking videos unprovoked nigga and order a whole gumby suit nigga what is your former occupation what money is really coming in nigga who do you stay with to where you just can be making videos like this Y'all see this at 3 a.m. What you doing? This goes on for almost three hours. Damn. Just a man dressed up in a Gumby costume. Yo, that nigga has no life. That nigga's a fucking loser. I'm not going to cap to you, bro. That nigga spent three hours just right there, nigga, just talking straight nonsense in that hot ass suit. I know that, bro. I know he has sweat on his lip. I know, bro, was sweating up a storm. That is probably, that nigga's a lame. I'm not going to cap to you. Costume reading a book for three hours. The whole video is 3 hours and 12 minutes long. At the end of the video, it cuts back to the other rooms of the house. I don't know what this video means, and it's just very unnerving to watch. I decided to get more opinions on this video by reading the comments, and for some reason, people are actually watching the video from beginning to end, and claim it's relaxing and they're only doing it for background noise. Yeah, I'm not gonna hold you. You have to be the most bored, like low IQ ass individual to go ahead and listen to the entire three hours from one second, from zero seconds, nigga, all the way to the three hour mark, nigga. Like talking about it's some, it, it's relaxing, nigga. Come on, like come on, bro. I don't know why people are watching a video of a grown man in a Gumby costume reading a book for three hours just for background noise. That doesn't make sense to me. There's but lo-fi live streams, I'm saying, bro. Yes. And that is the end of- Good video from Morbid. Um, can we all agree that this was Morbid's most creepiest video, nigga? I'm not gonna hold you. I, uh, plug, you got that. You got that, yo. I'm not gonna hold you. That was easily, 
easily Morgan's most creepiest video. I'm not going to hold you. <laughs> like, usually I don't be getting too creeped out by these, but I was, I'm not going to I was genuinely the dick that got out though he was dripping. Jesus Christ, bro. Best uh, video yet. W video for Morbid. Very creepy. Um, Yo, the fact that these videos, uh, the fact that these videos are still like allowed on YouTube, you can just put whatever on YouTube or search bar and you can find some of these videos. It's crazy to me, my nigga. But niggas want to demonetize. We care about our community. And da, 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 Nigga, why don't you handle that? Why, why don't you handle that? Uh, PPG play, you got that, bro. I'm good, bro. Um, W morbid video though, bro. Morbid don't miss.